Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. The pellets were shaking back and forth in the metal container. Back and forth and back and forth. The pellets became people shaking back and forth. Not necessarily physically. One person separated himself from the rest of the people. He went out and killed the dark demon that shriveled up into a burned mass. Then the one person wandered into the woods, cut down the largest tree in existence. The one was executed for killing the dark demon, the shaking world worshipped. Later the few went into the woods and found the biggest tree lying in the forest. It had turned into a burnt hulk. That was the tree that Eve ate and gave to Adam, the fruit of the witch. Those who understood continued on to the center of the forest and came to a brightly colored area, unlike the gray and black world they knew. They stepped into the area and the dark world disappeared behind them because the dark world was dead because of the dark demon. The one came to greet them and welcome them to the brave new world. Oh, what was that vision thing about? Let's take a look. The pellets became people shaking back and forth. Now, we know in Genesis that out of the ground, God caused uh, to grow every tree in the midst, and that was good for food, and the tree of life was in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge, and the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So that's the tree that they were talking about. And here's how we get the petals shaking back and forth. Genesis uh, continues to say, The tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, when the day that you eat you shall surely die. The serpent says you will not die. You will surely not die. Ate anyway. And so God drove the man out, and at the edge of the uh, area where the uh, tree of life was, the um, angel was there protecting it so nobody would come near it. Now, after many years, the people shook back and forth again. The few became many and many shaking back and forth like the pellets. And Noah did all that the Lord had commissioned him. He followed the word, not, not the tainted, evil word, that the demon created in people's minds. He was 600 years old when the flood of water came upon the earth. The shaking masses now bubbled down and drowned in the uh, flood. So this is what happened to them, but it didn't stay that way. Over the years it happened again and again. But there were at least a few that continued on into the future without having uh, turned their minds into the language of the demon. They escaped that, but not completely and entirely. And Romans says, even though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks and honor him or give God. They knew God. People know God, no matter what they say, or what they go on and say, there is no God, or all these other things that they worship, you know, they know God. They just refuse to accept Him. With professing to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of an incorruptible God for an image in the form of corruptible man. They worship men. Look at all the uh, uh, statues that they have in the various parts uh, of the world and various museums. These, these images of men 
were worshipped in many times, in many ways. And also, they worshipped birds and four-footed animals and crawling creatures and, and the earth and the sun and all kinds of things. But God gave them over to their impurity so their body would be dishonored. They exchanged the truth of the God for a lie and evil and worshipped the and served the creature, the one, evil, one, rather than the creator's blessed. Then it goes on to say that one person separated himself from the rest of the people. So the Son of Man, Matthew says, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. The one separated himself from all the people. As good as many of the Jews were, and the twelve apostles and others came out of this, he was the one, the Son of Man, the one that the world had been waiting for. Well, maybe they weren't, but there were people. Roman says, the free gift is not, the trans is not like the transgression, for by the transgression of the one, the dark demon, the many died. That much more did the grace of God and the gift of the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abound to the many. This one was executed for killing the dark demon. The shaking world worshipped. Let's take a look at that. Now he did not say this on his own initiative. Being the high priest, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation and for more than just the nation, obviously. Then they answered, said to him, if this man were not an evildoer, the Jews came to Rome because they couldn't execute a person unless uh, Rome gave them permission. And uh, they said, and said to him, if this uh, man were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him to you. And through all the intricacies, they killed him. He went out, and by his death he killed the dark demon that shriveled up into a burnt mass. He, his, by his death he chose to go in there. When he chose to go in there and be killed in spite of all the things he didn't want to do, but because of his love for God and his love for people who hated his father, who, who had adopted him, then the one person wandered into the woods and cut down the largest tree in existence, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge of evil, gone. That's it. For he was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men and they will kill him. And when he has been killed, he will rise three days later. That resurrection culminated the death of the evil one, the one that's shaking the world to follow his evil ways. First worship this, then worship that, then do this, and then do this, and thorough and utter confusion of the worshiping of the evil one and all of its evil demons. Philippians says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. We too, being baptized, or die to sin, just as Jesus did die for the sins of all the world. He, Paul says, he conformed to his death in order that I, he says, may obtain the resurrection from the dead. And we walk out through the woods on that path that Jesus says that we have to take. And we eventually walking out through that path of all the evils and everything else in the world, being uh, free from sin because of what Jesus did for us 
and our baptism and God's intervention in our lives and everything else. And then suddenly upon our resurrection, there it is, the world in beautiful color. And Jesus comes up to us and welcomes us, the one. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.